Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. As always, I hope you had a wonderful week. In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Bahar, we learn about the, the laws of Shemitah, the, law, the sabbatical year in which the seventh year it was forbidden for anyone to do any work. You know, the world says time is money, but the Chavetz Chaim was wont to say that money is time. And that's a lesson that we learned from this week's parasha. We can ask ourselves, is it better to be abundantly wealthy or is it, ben- is it better to have a decent amount of wealth but plenty of time? And our sages teach us, Mar ben nechassim, mar bedaika, the one who inquires, acquires more and more property, he acquires for himself more and more worries. Which means the more you own, if you own property in this country and property in that country, here and there, and you have this concern and that concern, and you own this company and that company, your head is then in a million places, and you don't have time to do what's actually more important to you, and that's the focus of your actual life. Now, if someone's focused on life, and of course is money, then then he thinks he's in a good place. But we all know that money is not a means, is not an end, it's a means to an end. It's a means to serve Hashem and help the lives of other people. And the Torah says that in the seventh year, it was forbidden to do any, any work at all. And those who were wondering what would happen, how would they eat in the seventh year, like we spoke out last year. So Hashem promised that in the sixth year, there would be enough grain that would grow throughout that year. Who were the ones that asked those, that, that question? The people that asked that question were the people that were a little lacking in their belief in Hashem. And their time then would be spent collecting all that extra fruit that would grow, all the extra tzvua, the extra seeds, the extra grapes, the extra all the extra fruits, and they'd turn into wine, and they'd be busy. But the people were of higher faith in Hashem, the same amount of food would grow, yet a different nace would happen. That they would receive blessing in that food, and that food would last them a longer time. So what we're learning over here is, is that the great gift that Hashem gave us is the gift of time, and to utilize that time to be able to come close to Hashem. That time sometimes comes in the form of a Shabbos. That time come to, sometimes comes in the form of a, of a sabbatical, the seventh year, Our sages also teach us that when Hashem gave the Torah to the Jews, so after that, the 40 years that the Jews sojourned throughout the desert, they ate the manna. The manna was a spiritual food. And our sages teach us, The manna was only given to people that sat and learned Torah. People who were busy with spiritual pursuits, those were the ones that were able to eat the manna. But if a Gentile tried eating the manna, it was very, very bitter to him. Why? Because people who have an untrained life, if money comes easy to them, then they're just going to use money and, and, and look for the wrong things. And not being busy is the worst thing for them. But somebody who has spiritual pursuits, like the Jewish people had in the, in the, in the, in the desert, so therefore the money was the greatest gift for them. Because with the money, they didn't have to worry about planting and, and hoeing and raking and seeding and doing everything else. They were able to use their time simply to serve Hashem. So the world says time is money, and we say money is time. So let's utilize our time right, have those goals that we always try strive for, and we're always like working. We're working so we can accomplish those goals, and we should ask yourself, okay, when am I actually going to start accomplishing that? So every Shabbos is an opportunity for you to accomplish that, and in general, a person should only work as much as he has to, as he has to utilize time to accomplish the goals that you want to set out to accomplish. Have a great job. Let's talk to you next week.